Find the best people you want to get close to. Find them. Get close to them. Do whatever it takes to learn everything you can from them. Because when you do, you're going to be a lot better off. I want to see other people win. We're so focused on ourselves in the beginning that we forget about other people. But to build an empire, you can't do it with one person. All right, what's up, y'all? BC. I wanted to do a video on emotional intelligence. Well, what I coined as emotional intelligence. And a lot of the questions that I get, again, in the feedback that I see and the behavior patterns, the behavioral patterns of people, I see they're having an issue with this. And this is a multi-layered subject. Um, it's a very sensitive subject matter for a lot of people. It's a technology and science that most people don't understand. I've been, ex been exploring it for many, many years now. And as I've uh, really dove deep into it, I want to give you some surface level stuff that I think is going to give you a better perspective and help you with it because the more you understand about the subject, the easier it's going to be for you to make changes, but more importantly, create some sort of system or plan to make changes. Because when you want to change something that you don't understand and that you have no idea about, you can't make changes because you need to understand it first. And that's something that a lot of people don't get yet. All right. Now I may have put this one at the bottom, but I want to talk about this one first. As human beings, everything we do is pattern-based, okay? Now you may think, well, duh, or wait, what do you mean by that? Look, everything we do is some sort of conditioning. The way you've been raised to think about certain things and people and events is a pattern, it's conditioning, okay? Everything you do when you wake up, from drinking water or coffee to brushing your teeth or having a Pop-Tart, whatever the fuck it is, is conditioning, it is a pattern. Why do you think when somebody gets stressed out, some people will eat or drink alcohol or smoke? That is a pattern that has been created by some moment or slowly conditioned over time. Sometimes it's an emotional, very traumatic event, right? And, and, and then a new pattern gets established or it's been slowly introduced to you and you've slowly fallen into that pattern, right? Which really doesn't take too long. But that's how the media and a lot of these other things in the educational system have influenced us. It's been slowly over time. So it's almost like right underneath your awareness and you're not even aware of it. All right. It's crazy. So you first need to understand that, which means I need to first spot the pattern. Okay. Which I'm sure you have. Maybe uh, every time, let's say somebody cuts you off in traffic. This is one that used to be really bad for me. You immediately, what the fuck, man? You get mad. Okay. Now, now every once in a while, when I fall back into that old pattern, I laugh because that is a pattern interrupt and it releases all the emotion and negative charge from that event. If you can learn to laugh off something negative, genuinely laugh it off, it's out of your system. Otherwise it gets conditioned. So that first time you have that outburst, you you start ingraining it into your neurology on a neurological level, right? Central nervous system. And the more you do it, the further it gets ingrained and the more difficult it is for you to stop it. Okay. So we need to first spot the pattern. That's the biggest one. Then you can start making changes and saying, I don't like this pattern. Let me focus now and change it. All right. A lot of people now, I hear this, make sure you don't fall into this trap. It's almost like they want to eliminate an emotion. Well, I never want to feel sad. I just want to be happy all the time. Okay. Now, one of the laws of alchemy, right, is duality, okay? That's one of the universal laws, okay? Correspondence, up, down, blah, 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 opposites. So, with that said, if sadness did not exist, happiness wouldn't. If north didn't exist, south wouldn't exist, right? You get my flow here. So, what we're doing here, and it's a two-way error. Number one is that. We can't have one without the other, two sides of the same coin, right? But also, that's where your humanity is. Your emotions are there for a reason. Imagine if you didn't have the flight or fight response and the lion comes in right here. You, you would be happy that you had that extra burst of speed and alertness and focus to be able to run the hell out of the room and jump through the window and survive and keep running. Okay? We've seen people, I've seen videos of a guy like literally lifting a fucking helicopter because someone's stuck under it, like in a car or something, and he lifts like a 5,000 pound helicopter. It's like a, a ridiculous feat of strength because adrenaline was surging and he was able to be superhuman for a few seconds or a certain moment. That's because of that. So we cannot eliminate our emotions or only want one on this grand spectrum of emotions. We need to see that. So if that's like one of your goals or you think that's going to happen, it's not going to. 
And, and, and I, I want to say that because I've seen so many people maybe not say that directly, but by their question and their actions, I think that's their end goal. It's like, well, I just want to eliminate sadness completely. No, you're going to feel it, dude. You're going to feel it. What we want to eliminate is extremes. You see, if you indulge too much in extreme happiness or whatever it is, you're going to experience the opposite because it's the, um, right, the pendulum. You go way, way too happy, boom, it's going to go the other way. You want to stay here. Right? I can be happy and celebrate my win, sure, but I don't indulge in it and go too much. Because then when something bad happens, it, it's the same thing when people, they gloat when they get praise. Oh yeah, tell me I'm so good. Then when they get hate, they wonder why it's so hard for them to shake it off. Well again, if you're going to go extreme to one side, you're going to feel the other side to that very same extreme. Okay, Something to keep in mind. Here's another one. Your imagination runs wild. Your process of your imagination and mental imagery and what you're doing, the movies that you play in your head and the stories that you play, has become so autopilot and unconscious, you're not even aware that it's going on anymore. When's the last time you caught yourself maybe daydreaming for five or 10 minutes without even stopping and you're just caught up in it? See, that's the first thing you gotta do is catch it. Because now that mechanism that has been running wild, you need to consciously get a hold of and use. So when something bad happens, this is an example, or something that I didn't want to happen, I do not allow my mind to start tricking me and making me run this movie reel of what's gonna happen. Like, let's say you have a client, right? And they cancel the deal. Where does, your, where does the mind go for the typical person? Oh man, they canceled, and then what if my other one's canceled? And what if I don't make any money this month? And then what if I can't pay my bills, and I can't pay my car, and I can't pay my house, and then I'm gonna be out on the street? And you run that shit for weeks. Then you wonder why you're feeling fucking miserable and your emotions are running wild, and your stress response is always high, you have a bunch of anxiety, you don't feel good, because you're literally doing it to yourself. In that moment, you become your own worst enemy. So what we need to do, and this is the exercise, is when we have these daydreaming moments where things are in our mind being painted in the wrong way and in the wrong fashion, you need to start catching it. And you want that window of time to slowly begin to creep. That way eventually you can catch it before it starts or within a couple seconds and boom, then you can consciously come in and insert or at least change what your mind is focused on. Because if you focus on that less, and those daydream reels that are bad begin to shrink in time, you're gonna notice a different effect on your system. It's just that again, this has been patterned for so long, you don't realize it, because it's become so normal for you. Or you think that's how everybody is, they're not. You have 100% control over your organism, ladies and gentlemen, in your mind. So you can program yourself for whatever. You can literally get it to where when something bad happens, you only see the good and the opportunity in it, and you feel great. I know people like that, right? I've conditioned myself to do that. Because whatever, whichever side of the fence you choose, that's up to you. We can make an argument for either one. But which one's going to serve you more? That's the real answer, okay? So, take control of this. And the reason it's difficult for many of you to use your imagination is you never use it. It's been hijacked by movies and porn and all that other bullshit you guys watch all the time, all right? Here's another one. And, and this one is a quick reframe. And this is one that people really struggle with, right? Let's say you're scared or you're nervous. What do people say? Okay, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You're focusing on what you don't want. And by the way, that's negation. If you don't study hypnosis, when you tell yourself don't something, the mind cannot process don't by itself. So it's looking for the next thing. And whatever said after that is taken as a command. So when you say don't be nervous, you're telling your mind be nervous, cancel. Be nervous, cancel. So what are you doing? You're bringing up nervousness. You're bringing attention to nervousness. That's why that doesn't work. Stop doing that. You don't want to be nervous? <clears throat> I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. Instead of, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Okay? Very basic tenet in hypnosis, but you need to understand that. That's why also, if you're looking to sell, right? I say this to people all the time. I'm not saying you should hire me today. I can say hire me today because it's masked by, I'm not saying you should. So they don't think I'm saying it directly to them. I'm not saying hire me today, sir, because then they can say no to that. If I say I'm not saying blank, I'm not saying you should meet with me today. I use those lines all the time, you see, but it hides behind that because I say don't or you shouldn't or you don't have to. It's the same principle because I know whatever is being heard after that is being taken as a command, okay? So now if you're talking to yourself and you want to say, don't be nervous, don't be nervous, all you're doing is making yourself nervous, okay? So please stop. 
This is a basic breakdown, as simple as I could for some of you who are maybe new to this realm of emotions. However, uh, I've been tackling this for years and it's been one of those things that I think has brought the biggest benefit to my life because we've been told that a lot of these mechanisms we can't control when in fact you can control them. However, it's your responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, to really get a grasp of this because there's gonna be things grabbing your attention and pulling your emotions like a puppet on strings if you don't take control of this, okay? Especially nowadays with what's going on out there in the media, you will literally be crumbled if you don't have control of this, okay? So that's it for this one, guys. As always, if you guys are really interested in taking this stuff to the next level and really, really learning and mastering this stuff, among many other things, I recommend you get on Modern Success because that's where I focus on stuff like this, briancasella.com, to check it out, or you can go to my Instagram bio. Uh, number two, if you guys are interested in joining uh, my real estate stuff and joining my team nationwide and eventually worldwide, go to partnerwithteambc.com, check that out, watch the video if it makes sense, and schedule a call with us. And lastly, check out my two new channels, right? My BC Show channel and also my Supreme Being podcast channel. We're also on every major podcast platform with the podcast. I just finally added the video format. Okay, that's it for this one. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you'd like to add. Peace.